rank each of these molecules by the number of valence electrons each one has. You must be able to do this because this is one of, if not the, first step in correctly drawing a Lewis structure. So what we got to do is go from the molecular formula of the molecule to figure out how many valence electrons we have, and that will depend upon the elements that compose it and the number of each. Let's take C2H6, which is one of the four molecules we have to rank. It's clear that the elements present are carbon and hydrogen, and that there are two carbons and six hydrogens. And it just so happens that the group to which an element belongs tells us exactly how many valence electrons that element will have. Hydrogen is in group one, carbon is in group four. Therefore, each hydrogen atom has one valence electron, whereas carbon will have four valence electrons per atom. Here's where it all comes together. We know how many valence electrons there are for one carbon and for one hydrogen, but the molecular formula tells us that we have multiple of each of these. Four times two means that carbon contributes eight valence electrons to the molecule, and one times six means that hydrogen contributes six. Eight plus four is 14, so that means that C2H4 has 14 valence electrons, and we have to calculate the rest to figure out the correct ranking. In fact, we can use this equation right here to figure out the number of valence electrons for each of our molecules, where we multiply the quantity and group number for each element in the molecule and then add them up. I know this looks confusing, but I'll show you how it works because it's actually pretty simple. We just showed that C2H6 has 14 valence electrons, and with this equation, we can prove it. We take the quantity of carbons in this molecule, two, multiply it by the group number, which is four, and add that to the number of hydrogens, six, times the fact that there's one valence electron per hydrogen atom, so 8 plus 6 is 14, just like we saw. That's what the sigma means. It's a summation tool. It adds up all the products of quantity times group number for each individual element. We use the same equation for one of the other molecules we have to rank. So it's pretty straightforward. There's one carbon, carbon's in group 4, 1 times 4. But for oxygen, we know that there's two of them, but what's the group number for oxygen? Well, let's go back to the periodic table, and we see that oxygen is in group six. Therefore, each oxygen is going to have six valence electrons, so two oxygens contribute 12. Four plus 12 equals 16 valence electrons for CO2. So now we have a clear comparison between two of the four molecules we need to rank. The question is where do our remaining two fall? CO3 two minus, CO3 one minus. One thing that's really interesting is that both of our remaining molecules have one carbon and three oxygens. Carbon's in group four, oxygen's in group six. And using our equation from earlier, one carbon times carbon in group four, plus three oxygens times oxygen in group six, gives us four plus 18 equals 22 valence electrons. However, we obviously have not accounted for the fact that they both have a charge. This is minus two, this is minus one. So if our summation equation tells us that neutral CO2 has 22 valence electrons, does adding negative charge increase or decrease the number of valence electrons? For example, does CO3 minus one have one more or one less valence electrons than CO3 neutral? Well, we're gonna add electrons because each electron has a negative one charge. So CO3 minus and CO3 minus two have 23 and 24 valence electrons, respectively. With that, the most accurate and thorough equation for the number of valence electrons of a molecule equals the same thing as before, but now minus the charge. So applying this to CO3 minus, for example, gives us 23 valence electrons as we just determined. With one more unit of negative charge, CO3 two minus has one more electron than CO3 minus one with 24 total. And in case you're wondering, it works out this way mathematically because a negative minus a negative means that we add. Here's our final ranking with, with C2H6 the least, CO3 two minus the most. Still feel a little confused or overwhelmed? Check out the video on your screen and in the description where we focus on a single molecule and even reveal a new possible electron counting strategy that we can use.